Hi guys, it's Rocco here and welcome to the weekly Luna Classic video. In today's video, we'll do the $100 Terra Casino giveaway. We'll cover the latest news in the Luna Classic ecosystem, including the big one, burning off almost 800 million USTC via the contract migration for Anchor and Mirror Protocol. I'll cover the news on Genuine Labs. This is not so good news, guys. They went a bit MIA. I'll cover this news they were delivering the tax to gas but there's been some issues so this is not so good news for the ecosystem but hopefully we can get behind them and they have said that the the tax to gas uh, code or implementation is very close to completion hopefully they can deliver it but on a positive note there are other developers that are looking to build on terra classic ecosystem so i'll cover potentially a new team that is going to work on the chain there's some updates on jurist protocol there's Jewish Protocol airdrop, guys. I'll talk about how you can get the airdrop. There's some updates on the LLC, the Devco, the Luna Classic, uh, Luna Lover, LL69 has been talking about. Uh, if we can get this done as soon as possible, we could potentially start the building of Jewish Protocol, which is what I'm really, really excited about. And hopefully it can happen sooner rather than later. We'll do technical analysis for Jewish and Luna Classic. And we'll talk about uh, Terraport as well. So Terra coin is a coin that i've but uh, recently bought some guys if we can get a meme see a meme hype season going on luna classic terraport is where we're trading these meme coins it could be bullish for terra as well so we'll talk about some of the meme coins they've also got liquid staking uh, live as well if you're interested in that do let me know in the comment section below maybe i can do a video tutorial for terraport liquid staking we want to have more use cases that we can do more with our luna classic it all helps on chain activity which is what we want to see for luna classic price to go up if you enjoy these giveaways guys do hit that like button if we get 100 likes uh, today we're doing a giveaway for terra casino trading credits next week guys if we get 100 likes we could potentially do a 100 100 maybe 10 dollars actual cash giveaway for sports betting as well so do uh, like and comment below and we'll do if we get 100 likes we'll do another 100 dollar cash prize giveaway Okay, guys, so let's get started with the big news. So burn almost 800, so 729 million uh, USTC here and 46 million on uh, Mirror Protocol, which is still a substantial amount. Again, I'm not going to go through this all post and get a huge shout out to Happy Catty Crypto. Go check his content out. He's the one who's uh, posted this on the Commonwealth. I'm happy to link this below or you can go on Commonwealth and read it yourself. So I'll cover the key news on here, guys. Again, I do recommend you guys read the whole thing if you want to know what's happening but the key news that i want to cover is that tfl will no longer have the ability to support future chain upgrades after um the 30th of october the bridge the shuttle bridge which i've covered in the previous video it will be open until 30th of october then that will close as well so and all the uh, remaining user assets will be burned so there's potentially three big burns happening again if you watch my previous video so a big burn that's going to happen is uh, uh, through shuttle bridge a huge one for lfg and tfl funds and another big one potentially for anchor Pro protocol and mirror protocol if we can get these burns happen guys and time it with some bullish news on on luna classic or bitcoin pumping that could potentially put us in a really really good position so this proposal seeks validator and community agreement to migrate the following anchor protocol related contracts to code id58508 all the values are there like i said great work from happy catty crypto new code along with migration bundler will achieve the following if the proposal passes blacklist specified anchor protocol wallets burn the USTC balances within this wallet according to Chris Armani so again we're not doing anything uh, out, out the blue or illegal again I'm not a lawyer I'm just sharing with you my thoughts but Chris Armani talked about uh, what we're doing and I think it is in our rights to do that again we'll have to follow governance because in an ecosystem like this decentralized ecosystem governance is key migration handler will automatically manage execution of the burn transaction as the work that's been done by frag previously is the same for mirror protocol slightly less amount but it's still guys 800 million USDC. that's a big amount if we can burn it get some repeat activity you guys know that's a, my favorite topic in luna classic and um, this is the main reason why i got so excited with the luna as well and um hopefully with 
some bullish news uh, some some of the burns and maybe some repeg ideas we can get a push up i don't have any more repeg ideas i always bring on people that anyone's trying to work on it try to give them some airtime share that with my following that i do have a bit of a following on luna classic but yeah i don't I haven't heard anything guys but if we can get these burns have some repeg ideas that can really help us get a push on the uscc side of things as well which will obviously help luna classic as well so guys that's the big news i wanted to cover on genuine labs guys so genuine labs uh, is the l1 team they've been working on uh, uh, the tax to gas implementation their spokesperson is diamond hands and diamond hands made this post uh, let's just check the exact date 4th of september that they've been trying to get hold of uh, genuine Labs since 24th of uh, august and they've had no reply from them so it's not really good news we don't want to be in a position where we can't get hold of the development team that's working on chain so again uh, there's no smoke without fire and i don't want to just put it in a positive note uh, but they have you know come back with some news so they have said they have recently come back on 6th of september they said they've been silent there's been some you know uh, uh, in, uh, internal issues and i don't want to uh, i don't support harassments and threats i can understand the frustration people have but i don't want to you know support the threats and harassments we don't want to see that and they said you know they, they don't want anyone want you to listen to any information apart from genuine labs and Lunk live in a decentralized community I, I i don't think it's always the best way to go when there's only two spokespe spokespersons but we have seen when there's a lots of communication in the luna classic community they could get bombarded with lots of news and we don't want to see that either so again i'll let you make up your own mind like i said in my post i want to support them there's no smoke without fire but for now i want to support them one other key thing they have said is that tax to gas is finished so they said it's finished they want to make sure it's working on chain on rebel and testnet um, and the satisfaction is met and satisfaction is met is really important because uh, respectable people like frag and cole who uh, who's a lot more um, know about the technology a lot more they said they are a bit worried they have raised lots of concerns that it might not work so we need to see that they work because if they don't work guys then we shouldn't be you know paying someone and one thing that i didn't like about them at all is they put up a pay proposal just before this work was completed and that that doesn't sound good to me why would you put up a proposal until it's fully implemented so i wasn't really happy to see that guys and um, again like i said there's no smokes without fire and one of them said it was a mistake from someone else in the team and it, it doesn't look good it is a bit messy but i'll go back to the post that i made i want to support them let's see if they can deliver before i start having a go at them as well in, in the crypto community guys if you've been here a long time you need to you need to assume positive intent uh, sometimes and again i'm not saying you use these assumptions to invest tens of thousands of dollars hundreds of thousands of dollars but when you're in this community for as long as i have been you wouldn't survive that long unless you try to assume positive positive intent from teams unfortunately so airdrop guys if you want to get airdrop guys stake some with the jewish protocol not only you get the free airdrop one percent of supply so that is a big amount you also guys um uh, burn some jewish as well so any the validator rewards that uh jewish protocol have through link delegations ll69 burns it weekly guys so it's really positive i really like it i'm staking uh, with the jewish protocol myself if you've got some link stake with them and get some rewards and then another key thing is we're not just giving these tokens away for it to be dumped and cause jewish price to dump it's actually going to be vested for two years so that makes it really positive because it's not going to get dumped on which we which we've have seen pre previously with airdrops and, and coin prices dumping so really good way of doing it guys if you haven't already staked with jewish protocol stake with jewish protocol not only you're getting free tokens you're also burning and we know from luna classic burning is a big way for uh, prices to go up to other news is guys there's going to be some fun movements happening for jewish devco and the big news is the LLC guys there's been an additional information submitted to the main bank provider and hopefully we can see this all set up pay the dev and start building Jewish protocol the biggest news for me would be uh, the test net for Jewish protocol and that's when I think the price of Jewish could could potentially go up this leads us very nicely to the Jewish chart guys the so Jewish chart as you can see is still up about 2x since that dump after 
um rakov charge attacked us i still can't believe that so it's, it's doing well but the breakout is taking a bit longer than i'd expected i was hoping around here or there we start moving the start seeing the movement above there but it's still holding the key support level so i'm still hoping to see a potential 80 or 100 percent pump so you could look to take a position as long as we're holding this and if we can get some positive news on the llc people could potentially start front running uh, on the uh, news that development for jewish protocol will start to happen but I think the big pump will happen during testnet. So it's up to you. Do you want to wait and potentially miss out on the pump? Because usually we see buy the rumor, sell the news event, or do you want to wait? So I'll leave that up to you. But from a technical uh, point, technical analysis point of view, we are breaking out here and starting to push higher. In terms of Terraport, guys, it is in a nice consolidation. So if I go back to the Terra chart here, so I did post it on my Twitter that I did get a position. The chart to me looks potentially like accumulation that we saw here and then the rally up. So it's looking potentially like this and then a rally up. Let's see with liquid staking and meme coins up, we can get a push up. But I have bought some Terra, like I said, if we can see lots of meme coins launching. So Rocket Terra, uh, Loonk Boys, Alpha, uh, there's older ones as well, Tokemon and Pizza Boy. There's lots of meme coins I personally may own <laughs> own, own some as well. Again, I'm not going to shield my low liquidity bags, but I did get a Terra position, like I'm saying. So if you're interested in that, you could uh, look to trade some or you can also trade some meme coins. If there are meme coins that you want to shield, discuss, let me know in the comment section below and join our weekly spaces. I do our weekly Lunk spaces with LL69. If you want to come up, find latest news on Luna Classic, Jewish Protocol, any other meme coins, I invite guests from all around the community as well. So if you want to come on, do messages and come on and we can have a good discussion. So guys, let's do the Luna Classic um, technical analysis. Then I'll hopefully do the giveaway to end the video. In terms of Luna Classic, guys, um, I'll do the high time frame. So in the high time frame, guys, there's two key levels. Same as Bitcoin, I'll touch on Bitcoin as well. I want to see above here. So I did buy some here and buy some here. It didn't work. I did take a scalp long position, but I've closed that position now. If we can start getting back above here, which is almost killing a zero and breaking out. Or if we come back to here, these are the two levels I'm interested in for now it's just middling in the like diddling in the middle or it's just chop and there's not much that is happening unfortunately so that's the position that i took uh, when we saw this spike but it's just been going sideways I've, I've exited the position waiting for a better opportunity if we can see a push up break out above this bullish level or another sell-off around here that's when i will look to get a position if not i'll just probably wait on my hands and what i would like to see is it timed with bitcoin same tweet so if you follow me guys i made a tweet about kuji kuji is looking like a breakout here if kuji breaks out above here uh, and bitcoin's above 60k that's when i look to take a position on a side note guys i am um, there's another project launching on Kujira and I'm partnering up with them to create some content really exciting because since Kujira has absolutely been destroyed and dumped uh, this is exciting to see another project come in on Kujira and Rune so it's not just a Kujira project it's a Rune project as well so exciting to see what happens there as well so I'll be creating content going forward but Bitcoin if I go on to the high time frame for Bitcoin as well the two key things I'm looking for is back above sort of 59 60k or a sell-off and I'll give you two levels that you can uh, have some uh, price alerts set if you want to buy bitcoin or if bitcoin reaches there you can buy luna classic like myself kujira uh, rune or other projects that you're interested in so the two key levels i'm looking at it's a 49k we have seen previously where we spike below the low and it, and it pumps up we've seen it here here bitcoin loves to do that so if we can get a spike and start seeing some buying above maybe i look for a trade but i do have some uh, trade positions below 40k so I've just set some alerts in case we see a liquidation dump. I would look to buy some because that is a level where we've seen big pumps from. So if we can come into here, I'm just going to blindly buy some. I've lift some bids. But around 40k, guys, low 40k's, I think it's a very good level to get a position. So that is my thoughts on Bitcoin. And you can time that on Luna Classic how you would like to. So guys, let's do the giveaway before I end the video. Okay, guys, so I'm doing the Terra Casino giveaway now. So I'm copying the tweet that I've made. We're going to post it here, pick random winner. So we want reply. It says lower accuracy, but pick a winner. Searching for the winner. 
you must be following myself and Terra Casino as well. Okay, the winner is Lunk Lover TRX. So if you're watching the video, mate, DM me or DM the Terra Casino Twitter account to get your hundred dollar trading trading credit giveaway. In the future, guys, if you want to see more giveaways, do hit that like button. If I see hundred likes in this video, in the next video, I'll do a ten dollar giveaway of sports betting not trading credit we'll do a sports betting giveaway with a ten dollars so make sure you hit that like button thank you very much for watching this video we'll see you guys again next week thank you very much